The PDF Syllabus Builder is open, licensed under Creative Commons, and works in a native PDF environment. To get your copy of the tool, go to this address, save a copy of the tool to your local machine, and open the file in Adobe Reader. When working with the file, you may find it easier to put it in full screen mode. The tool divides your syllabus into six parts that you will build individually. Information, objectives, resources, activities, policies, and grades. To get started, review the example syllabus that we have provided. When you're finished reviewing the example, use this button in the upper right hand corner to close it. At this point, you're ready to start entering in your information. As you are entering information, you can use the preview feature to see what your syllabus will look like. You will only see the parts of your syllabus that you've already worked on. Any information that you add or change while you're in the preview mode will also be reflected when you close the preview mode. In each section of the tool, you will see editing palettes over on the right hand side. As I scroll over a section, that section will be highlighted if it's visible. If you see a plus, that means a section is hidden and you can just click on the plus to unhide it or the X to hide it. You may add individual text fields or subtract them, control some of the spacing between sections, and also add other elements to the section. In the objective section, you will find the Bloom's Revised Taxonomy tool. It lists the different levels of Bloom's Revised Taxonomy, and when you click on a level, a series of buttons will come up that contain action verbs associated with that level. By clicking on a button, the verb will be populated into the next available objective field, and then you can simply type in the rest of the objective and go on from there. When you first open up the grade section, you're going to receive a dialog box that tells you that a page break is inserted at the end of the policy section in order to keep all the grades information on a single page. So you'll build out your components and put in your points here, but you won't see the grading scale that the tool calculates for you until you click Preview and then scroll down and look at the grades section. Now as I mentioned before, this section is dynamic, so if I change some points there, it's going to recalculate my points and my grading scale. You can also click on the percentage title and make a change to the lower percentage brackets and the tool will reconfigure the point spread for you. When you've completed all six parts of your syllabus, you'll be ready to publish. Click on Preview and then select Publish from the toolbar. A dialog window will open up, prompting you to save a copy of your syllabus that you can edit at a later time. Select OK. Give it a file name that you'll remember. And then another dialog window will open up, letting you know that you're finished, and will ask you to give the final name for your syllabus. At this point, your syllabus is read-only and ready for your students.